The flight guidance controller on the Pilatus PC-12NG serves as the main control interface for the autopilot, flight director, and yaw damper. The controls on the panel are organized by function, minimum set, pitch control, heading control, vertical, lateral, and speed control, altitude control, and autopilot and flight director engagement. Green lights above the buttons indicate when the selected function is armed or active. The autopilot button engages both the autopilot and yaw damper. If no flight director modes were already selected, the pitch and roll sub modes become active. To disengage the autopilot, push the autopilot button. This will leave the yaw damper on. This is useful if you'd like to hand fly the aircraft on an approach or other segment of the flight. The yaw damper can then be disengaged prior to landing by pushing the quick disconnect button or yaw damper buttons. To disengage both the autopilot and the yaw damper together, push the quick disconnect button. The autopilot will also be disengaged if the yaw damper is disengaged, a trim interrupt switch is pushed, or if one of the four manual trim buttons is activated. The yaw damper is automatically engaged whenever the autopilot is engaged. To engage the yaw damper without the autopilot, push the yaw damper button. The flight director button turns the flight director command bars on or off on the PFD. The flight director cannot be removed from display if the autopilot is on. The PFD couple button indicates which PFD the flight director is coupled to. Pushing the button changes the source from one side to the other. The minimums knob is used to set the minimum altitude for an approach. This is displayed on the PFD. Pushing the knob toggles the minimums altitude between barometric and radar altitude. Radar altitude minimums are for reference only and cannot be used to determine approach minimums. The nose up and down buttons are used to adjust the vertical mode values such as pitch, airspeed, and vertical speed. Pushing the heading button activates the heading flight director mode. If the aircraft is not on the selected heading, the flight director will turn towards the selected heading. The heading track knob is a dual concentric knob with a push sync function. The outer knob lets the pilot toggle between heading or track mode on the HSI. Turning the inner knob permits the pilot to select a heading using the heading bug. The bank limit button is used to toggle the low bank function on or off. When low bank is selected, the flight director bank angle will be limited to 15 degrees. During a climb, the bank angle automatically switches to low bank when the aircraft is above 25,100 feet MSL. When the nav button is pushed, the aircraft arms, captures, and tracks the lateral course associated with the selected navigation source. Navigation sources include VOR, localizer, or FMS. When the approach button is pushed, the lateral and vertical approach modes are armed based on the navigation source selected. Pushing the speed button on the guidance panel activates the speed hold vertical mode in which the aircraft will pitch for the selected speed. The speed value can be adjusted using the nose up or down buttons. The vertical speed button activates the vertical speed mode. This is a vertical mode in which the aircraft will pitch to maintain a set vertical speed. The nose up or nose down buttons can then be used to set the desired vertical speed. 
Pushing the VNAV button arms and activates the VNAV mode. For more details, refer to the videos on VNAV. When the altitude button is pushed, the aircraft will capture the current altitude. The altitude knob is used to select the altitude that is set in the altitude pre-select window. The outer knob sets the altitude in thousand foot increments. The inner knob sets the altitude in hundred foot increments. For more information on the flight guidance panel or the available lateral and vertical autopilot modes, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.